Hey, what's up, guys? Kool Aid here. Got a short little video for you today. Actually, addressing a comment in my last AT Mine video that I wanted to address in this video, and I'm going to show you a little bit about it too. Um, basically, somebody named American Gamers asked me if I could throw a sticky grenade down first, then throw the AT Mines down after before the sticky grenade went off. And I said flat out, you know, I really don't know. I didn't even think about trying that. Well, the first thing I did, of course, when I saw Sunder again, was try this, and lo and behold, you can easily do this, and it actually works really well. It doesn't save you a lot of time, but it does you, does save you a very important little split second there that allows you to maybe survive a little easier after you blow up the Sunder. That was the only thing I really noticed that I was having trouble with after the original anti-tank mine change is that I was dying a lot more while blowing up the stationary sunders. I wasn't being being able to escape quite as often. Throwing the sticky grenade while I'm actually running in. You have to time it well. You don't want to throw it too early. You definitely run the risk here of either wasting a sticky or blowing yourself up with the AT mines. But so far I can honestly say I have not had this backfire on me, and it's just helped me way, escape a little bit easier by doing this. So anyways, guys, that is all I had today. I have a little bit of a funny clip coming up for you here in a second. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all later. Good luck. I'm still is there an alert? Or yep. Whatever. Came. I'm a member. It'll He's out of like get out, get out. I can't even get into the queue. He's dead, but he dropped those mines right there, so don't... Can't move the sun. Oh shit, that tank might explode him. <laughs> Run away. Oh god. <laughs> I got the lightning. What a bunch of shit. Point.